Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Indie Sense, hosted by me, Dead English, and today I'm bringing you a game from Edmund McMillan. This is one of his earlier games. It's called Ether. This is a Flash game, and this came before Super Meat Boy and before Binding of Isaac and all that. This was featured briefly in the documentary Indie Game the Movie, um, and Edmund McMillan was talking about how when he was a kid he had all these feelings and they sort of isolated him and made him feel different and he saw a lot of that in his niece as well so he combined all those feelings and tried to put them into a game and the end result was this ether um yeah this is free to own just type in ether game and you could find it uh, you can find it through Google probably the first link I think. Uh, it's also four bucks on Steam. Um, it's part of like an Edmund McMillan basement bundle. I forget what it's called. It's something basement. Basement collection I believe. Um, but yeah all the games in there are flash games that you could find through their respective websites. You don't have to torrent them. You don't have to do anything illegal. This is free to own just as is. So I figured I'd give it a shot and play it. I really enjoyed uh, the part of the documentary where he was talking about this, so I want to play it for you guys. So let's see. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, it's uh, presented by Armored Games. <laughs> uh, yep. If I had internet, I could probably go here and find more of his games, but I don't have internet right now, so story is told of a boy who was lonesome, who stayed a bit far from his home. As the daylight grew dimmer, he saw a frint, frint glimmer lost in the wake of sea foam. For the boy had a feeling that this monster was kneeling to offer his hand to a friend. I love Edmund McMillan's art style. Let me just take that time out right there to say that. I really like what he does with the art style. The boy darted away, but then turned to stay, afraid of the message he sent. He lowered his head, and the boy bustled up, looking proud atop his new steed. <laughs> for the boy had a venture, he was bound for adventure, and this monster had planted the seed. Licking up to the stars, he thought to himself, imagine all of the people up there. Could they all be as lonely? Or am I one and only? Would the people on Earth really care? So our story unfolds, a boy and his pet, leaving his home without care or regret. Truly a tale that none will forget. Alright, sorry I sound a little stunted uh, reading. Okay, here are the controls. Okay, so let's get it. Oh. Okay, come on. Uh, hold on. Hold on a second, guys. Let me lower the volume here. Where is this? There we go. That was uh that was just a bit loud there. Okay. So here we go. So I did play this right after I saw the movie. And I saw the movie about a year and a half ago. It's a fantastic movie. I showed it to my mom and she doesn't she uh, doesn't play video games unless I tell her let's play one so she's not that knowledgeable about the video game industry but even she like dug it and you basically just hook onto different things and use your momentum pressing pressing A and D to swing back and forth and then you press W to sort of swing up and as you swing higher and higher you get out of the atmosphere and those little things in the corners 
show you where the other planets are. Oh, oh, do I got anything? Got a Spider-Man it. Okay, and we're at the planets now. So I guess I'll, I'm colorblind, but I'm going to go to the one above, above everything. There we go. So I have less gravity up here, so it takes a lot less work. And then your orientation kind of turns around. I'm going to miss it. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, let's just swing down that way. And we're approaching the other planet. You could tell as the sky sort of fades away. Or the the space sort of sky fades away into this sort of atmosphere. Look at this planet! Oh, he's so distraught. Why do you look like me? Hello. I forgot what to do here. I'm stuck here because I'm bad. Oh, Yeah, these are all like Edmund McMillan's little kid type of thoughts. I forgot what to do here. I don't know if there's a certain order you have to go in. Okay. Oh, oh, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. God damn it. Sorry about that, guys. That's one of the hazards. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. It's. I remember this planet. It's so heavy outside here. Oh, it's so heavy in this one's atmosphere. It's just hard to get out of it. Yeah, see, once I'm out of it, I'm able to swing freely. This is what I'm supposed to do. Oh! Come on! Blast away! There we go. Now, I believe there are more of those. Oh, come on. Oh, swing for your life here. I'm free! Almost! Ah! Ha! There you are. Healing it with the radiating powers of however many suns this planet has. Oh, okay, there's another one. Oh, no! No! Damn it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on up. Oh, Jesus. It is so hard to swing up. There we go. Nope, I'm not going back down there, man. I don't care what you say, I'm not going back down there. Jeez. Come on. Come on, dude. Thank you. Okay, let's get over to here, because I saw one over here. This planet has like four suns, I guess. Here we go. Almost done, right? Almost done? Come on! There we go. I cured the planet. Look how happy he is. So there we go. Well, let's get out of here. That was, uh, that was one hell of a mission.
Oh! Okay. Oh, no. Okay, let's just get out of the atmosphere. I want to go to the planet over here. I feel like Spider-Man. There we go. Oh, am I landing? Not yet. Oh yeah, I am. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm back on Earth. Oh, okay. I came from Earth already. I don't need to be back on it. Oh, gosh. Come on. Okay. Let's go over to the planet over here. Come on, swing up. Jesus. Sometimes he just doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Going over here. There we go. Oh, gosh. It's a strange mechanic trying to operate the tongue and swing off things sometimes. That's why he's uh, spazzing out sometimes. Sometimes he, he's like Spider-Man. Other times he's he's like uh, Tobey Maguire when he first got the spider powers. <laughs> I don't know. So here we go into another planet's atmosphere. Ooh, it's water planet. What was that? Wait, what's it say? I can't, I can't stay under it for that long. Leave me alone? Oh, poor little guy. What's it say? Oh, Jesus. You're something special? Is that what's it? What do I do here? Okay. Clearly isn't something with that. Let's swing around the planet and see if I can find anything. Oh. It's not really uh, self-explanatory with a lot of these puzzles. Get down there! Am I supposed to swing through that? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Maybe I'm supposed to swing through it. Oh no, I'm eating the fish! That's what I'm doing! Okay! I'm supposed to eat all the fish and it makes him happy. Not that guy, but the planet. It makes the planet happy. Look how happy he is! Come on. Oh! Let me jump up there! Don't be a... Don't be a baby! Okay. Aha! Aha! Come on. Okay. Let's go to the one up here. I hope this isn't one that I've already been to. Here we go! Now I can just take my hands off the keyboard and mouse for a little bit. Thankfully my hands are starting to cramp. Ooh, look at that! Some weird fishy bone. Out in space. Where 
in the world am I going? There we go. Now I'm heading straight for it, right? You'd think so. Oh, it's Saturn! Saturn smiling. And another fishy bone! <gasps> Space station! Here we go. I am going towards that planet. Here we go. Oh, look how small it is! I'm able to jump on that one, right? This one had something to say to me. I wonder if they think about me. Aww. That's fucking sad. I can relate to a lot of the stuff like that the... Uh, the little kid thoughts that they have. I was the same way as a little kid. I felt very uh, alienated and sad. I think that's why this game like reached out to me like it did. This one had something to say. I can't figure out how to trigger its dialogue audio. Come on. Where is it? Okay. We are glad he's gone. Who's gone? Oh, I want to jump onto that planet. There are lots of little planets around here. There we go. I'll never go back home. Aw. This one kind of ran away, I'm guessing. Oh wait, did that push him down? Yeah, it's pushing him down! Okay, I'm guessing that, uh, that helped. Come on. There we go. Personally, I think... something? What's that say? One day, I'll be great and show them all. That's right, you will be great. I'll never amount to anything. They all think I'm dumb. Aww. This is sad. I feel bad for these little guys. Oops, there's a little guy up there. Oh! Come on! Oh! Come on! Okay. Now this one, this one should help me get on top. Okay. I'll go home when I leave. Wait, when he leaves. Okay, so I think that's it, right? Nope, there's one right there. Come on! Oh! Jesus! There we go. I hate him so much. Oh God, settings. There's problems with having flash games instead of games that open up not in your browser. Oh, oh, oh! Come on! You know you want to. Just fighting with it all the way. Oh, Jesus. I keep on accidentally jumping off it. Jesus, just swing. Just swing. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. This is freaking uh, difficult. Uh, oh, jeez. 
Okay. Falcon, swing right. Now swing left. Now let's do a loop and go up. I, I hate this guy. I hate him. He refuses to cooperate. There we go. Don't fucking jump off. There we go. Why did I jump off? I was pressing down. There. Need to weigh this guy down. Oh, uh, come on. There we go. Get down, damn you. There we go. Jesus. That was a mission, wasn't it? How'd you get all the way out here, dude? Okay, there we go. I cured the planet. Glad that one's done. That one was a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. Like I said, the puzzles aren't uh, very explanatory. You sort of just have to figure them out on your own. <laughs> That's what I did at least. I guess this could be considered a gameplay walkthrough, huh? I'm uh, inventing new series all the time on this show, ha 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 ha. There we go. I want to go to the one over here. There we go. Almost done with the game. I'm, this might be the first indie sense where I actually finish a game. No! It's Earth again! Am I going to the moon? To the moon! Look how happy our moon is! That's pretty funny. Okay, I'll go to this one over here since that seems to be the way to go. Come on! There we go. Let's get some momentum here. Of course, that stopped all my momentum. There we go. Now we're going, 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 going. Are we entering that planet's atmosphere? I fucking hope so. Oh, yay, okay. No! Ah! It's sad to be alone. Aww. Yeah, it is, little buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, I swung outside the planet. any of these guys talk? I'll be happy when I'm dead. Oh, don't say that, dude! Poor guy. Are there any other guys on this planet? Oh, feel bad for him. I think I gotta get around this planet without touching the inside. There we go. It is sad to be alone. It is very sad. 
Okay, planet cured. Now back to Mother Earth. Oh! Oh! Ah, no! He doesn't want to go! There we go. There we go. Let's get over here. Now to Earth. Another space station. There we go. Just building momentum. Now I like the ending of this game. That's why I played it all the way through, really. I think it uh, has something to say. Oh. See that? My Earth cracked and broke. As the boy delved in deeper, his imagination went wild, and the gasp of reality was left far from this child. The impact he caused broke his tie to the earth, but his fears and his worries and ca had caused a rebirth. Being lost in his dream, his imagination expanded, and with the rid of the beast he commanded, this boy would live on in the memories of past, and the boy would find hope in a future he'd cast. To be continued. Yep, Edmund McMillan. So that was Ether, and uh, yeah, I really like that game, man. It's just a short, quick little game, but it's, it's, it really shows you about what it is to be a kid, and like alienation as a child, that type of thing. So I hope you guys liked it. This has been Indie Sense with Ether. Uh, I am, of course, Dead English. And if you liked it, leave a comment letting me know. If you didn't like it, leave a comment letting me know, giving creative giving constructive criticisms. It could be creative criticisms as well, but constructive helps more. So, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later.